hello and welcome to my youtube channel Kimwiz. in this video we are going to discuss a very important topic that is the baldwin's rule we will discuss the following points general introduction to baldwin's rules examples showing validity of baldwin's rules and exceptions to baldwin rules so let's begin Baldwin's rules are certain set of guidelines which tell us about whether a particular intramolecular reaction is feasible or not. These rules are applicable not only for the intramolecular reactions that lead to the formation of cyclic product but also for the reactions in which product is acyclic but the reaction involves cyclic transition state. This we will discuss later with examples. The Baldwin rules classify the intramolecular reactions based on actual ring size of the product. Bond being broken is exo that is outside the ring or endo that is inside the ring and hybridization of electrophilic carbon. So based on ring size position of bond being broken and hybridization of electrophilic atom we can write a general name of the intramolecular reaction as n dash exo or endo dash dig trig or tet where n is the ring size of the product or transition state exo indicates bond being broken is outside the ring endo indicates bond being broken is inside the ring dig means the electrophilic carbon is sp hybridized that is the diagonal geometry trig means the electrophilic carbon has sp2 hybridization that is trigonal geometry and tet means the electrophilic carbon has sp3 hybridization that is it has tetrahedral geometry so keeping n constant intramolecular reactions involving exo bond breaking are of three types depending upon whether the electrophilic carbon is diagonal trigonal or tetrahedral n exotic n exotric and an exotet. Similarly, intramolecular reactions involving endobond breaking are of three types depending upon whether the electrophilic carbon is diagonal, trigonal, or tetragonal, sorry, tetrahedral, n endo dig, n endo trig, and n endo tet. Let's have general representation of these six reactions. If the substrate is like this, the intramolecular reaction between nucleophile and electrophile will give this cyclic structure. Since the bond being broken is exo, that is outside the ring, and the electrophilic center is diagonal, that is sp hybridized. So, this reaction will be named as an exodig. If the substrate is like this, cyclization will give this product. Since the bond being broken is exo and electrophilic atom is trigonal, that is sp2 hybridized, so this reaction will be named as an exotrig. Another substrate. Here, the cyclization, the cyclization product is like this. Since the bond being broken is exo and electrophilic atom is tetrahedral, that is sp3 hybridized, so the reaction will be named as an exotet. This substrate after cyclization gives the product in which x is also the part of ring. Here, Bond being broken is endo, that is 
inside the ring and the electrophilic center is diagonal that is sp hybridized so it will be named as n endodig similarly we can show the model reaction for n endotrig this is the substrate for the last reaction here the intramolecular reaction leads to the formation of cyclic transition state which collapses to a cyclic product since the bond being broken is endo and the electrophilic center is tetrahedral so it will be named as n endotet now come to the baldwin's rule these are all about feasibility of the six cyclization reactions these rules are 3 to 4 exodic reactions are disfavored 5 to 7 exodic reactions are favored 3 to 7 exotic reactions are favored 3 to 7 exotate reactions are favored 3 to 7 endotic reactions are favored 3 to 5 endotric reactions are disfavored 6 to 7 endotric reactions are favored and 5 to 6 endotate reactions are disfavored now let's go through examples the first example is cyclization of 2 chloroethanol in the presence of a base to produce ethylene oxide in the presence of a base 2 chloroethanol gives oxide ion which undergoes cyclization to produce epoxide since there are three atoms in the ring so n is equal to 3 the bond being broken is exo and the electrophilic carbon is sp3 hybridized that is tetrahedral so this reaction will be 3 exotet according to baldwin's rule this 3 exotet reaction is favored so this cyclization will be favored the next example is cyclization of gamma hydroxybutyric acid under acidic condition to produce gamma butyrolactone in this reaction there is attack by alcoholic oxygen on carbonyl carbon of carboxylic acid there is the formation of five membered ring so n is equal to 5 bond being broken is exo to the ring and the electrophilic carbon is sp2 hybridized that is trigonal so the type of reaction will be 5 exotrig which is a favored reaction as per baldwin's rule let's take this alpha beta unsaturated amino ester there are two possibilities for the cyclization it can undergo 5 endotrig reaction to produce ethyl pyrrolidine 3 carboxylate or 5 exotrig to produce 3 methylene pyrrolidine 2 ohm according to baldwin's rule 5 endotrig reaction is disfavored while 5 exotrig reaction is favored therefore ethyl pyrrolidine 3 carboxylate is not formed and thus giving rise to 3 methylene pyrrolidine 2 ohm as the only product if we take 4 hydroxy 4 methyl 1 aryl pent 1 ion 3 ohm and allow it to react with a base it will undergo deprotonation to form this alkoxide anion there are two possibilities for the cyclization of this alkoxide ion 4 exodic to produce carbon ion of 2 arylidine 4 4 dimethyl oxytane 3 ohm which after protonation can give 
टू एरिडीन फोर फोर डाइमेथिल ऑक्सीडेन थ्री ओन और अ फाइव एंडो डिग टू प्रोड्यूस द कार्बन आयन ऑफ टू टू डाइमेथिल फाइव एरिल फ्यूरेन थ्री टू एच ओन विच आफ्टर प्रोटोनेशन विल गिव टू टू डाइमेथिल फाइव एरिल फ्यूरेन थ्री टू एच ओन फ्रॉम द बाल्डविंस रूल फोर एक्जोडिग इज डिसफेवर्ड वाइल फाइव एंडोडिग इज फेवर्ड सो द ऑक्सीटेन डेरिवेटिव इज नॉट एल नॉट फॉर्म्ड वाइल फ्यूरेन डेरिवेटिव इज फॉर्म लेट्स फाइंड द एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर द साइक्लाइजेशन ऑफ दिस अल्फाबिट अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोक्सी कीटोन अंडर बेसिक एंड एसिडिक कंडीशंस टू प्रोड्यूस this cyclic structure it has been found that the cyclization doesn't work under basic condition while works under acidic condition to find the explanation let's analyze the mode of cyclization in each condition under basic condition the alcoholic group of the substrate reacts with the base to produce this anion which can undergo intramolecular 1/4 addition which is 5 endotric cyclization to produce this cyclic product according to baldwin's rule 5 endotric is disfavored so this cyclization will not happen under basic condition under acidic condition the substrate undergoes protonation on the ketonic oxygen to produce oxonium ion one of the resonating structures of which can be drawn like as now this can undergo five exotric cyclization to produce cyclic structure according to baldwin's rule five exotric cyclization is favored therefore this cyclization happens under acidic condition Now let's check the validity of Baldwin's rule in endotate reaction. When this substrate is allowed to react under basic condition, there is generation of this carbon ion intermediate. It may undergo intramolecular nucleophilic substitution to produce this product. It can also undergo intermolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction with another molecule like this to produce the same product. here both the mechanisms look reasonable but the challenge is to find the correct one if you look at the intramolecular reaction it falls under the category of cis endotet which is disfavored according to baldwin's rule so the intramolecular mechanism is less likely to prove that the reaction is following intermolecular mechanism Essen Moser carried out an experiment in which he took a mixture containing 50% of the same substrate and 50% hexadeuterated substrate after reaction in the presence of base the resultant reaction was found to con- reaction mixture was found to contain a mixture of these four products where the product without any deuterium and with six deuteriums were 25 and 25% each products with three deuteriums were 50% if the mechanism were intramolecular there would have been only these two products but presence of these four products in the given percentage suggests the mechanism to be intermolecular baldwin's rule are also applicable for ring opening processes because both the ring opening and ring closing processes proceed through the common intermediate for example methyl tetrahydrofuran 3 carboxylate when allowed to react with methoxide ion in methanol d1 it undergoes enolization to produce this enolate the enolate can undergo ring opening like this which is the reverse of 5 endotric cyclization to produce 
मेथिल फोर हाइड्रॉक्सी टू मेथिलीन ब्यूटेनोएट और इट कैन बी ड्यूटरेटेड लाइक दिस टू प्रोड्यूस मोनो ड्यूटरेटेड मेथिल टेट्राहाइड्रोफिर थ्री कार्बोक्सीट अकॉर्डिंग टू बाल्डविंस रूल फाइव एंडोट्रिक साइक्लाइजेशन इज डिसफेवर्ड सो द रिवर्स ऑफ फाइव एंडोट्रिक विल ऑल्सो बी डिसफेवर्ड सो द रिंग ओपन प्रोडक्ट विल नॉट बी फॉर्म वी विल गेट मोनो ड्यूटरेटेड वर्जन ऑफ ए स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल now we will discuss some exceptions to baldwin's rules baldwin's rules are only guidelines and when a reaction is thermodynamically very favorable and there is no other possible way five endotrick reactions can take place the best example is the reaction of aldehyde or ketone with ethylene glycol in the presence of acid catalyst to produce cyclic acetal or ketal it will be more clear if we go through the mechanism aldehyde or ketone in the presence of acid catalyst gets protonated to produce protonated species with activated carbonyl group ethylene glycol then adds to the activated carbonyl to produce aduct which after proton shift produces another adduct now water eliminates to produce this oxonium ion which undergoes five endotrick cyclization like this to produce protonated cyclic structure which after deprotonation keeps cyclic product here we should note that five endotrick is disfavored according to baldwin's rule even then it happens because there is no other way and the product is thermodynamically very stable reactions in which second row elements are included inside the ring also don't obey baldwin's rule for example this compound when treated with base produces sulfide ion which undergoes five and trick cyclization to produce cyclic product we have already seen that amine analog of the same substrate did not undergo five endotrick cyclization but this substrate undergoes this is because cs bond is long and the empty 3d orbitals of sulfur may play a role by providing an initial interaction with the cc pi orbital other interactions which don't obey baldwin's rules are electrocyclic reactions cationic reactions and reactions involving transition metals that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video